I'm still mind blown every time I realize that this was once a tropical fruit from the Philippines. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Heya. On this channel, I share all of my vegan and cruelty-free discoveries. I've become so fascinated by the world of plant leathers. I'm learning all about them as I replace all of the animal skin leather from my life. Today, we're gonna talk about pineapple leaf leather, also known as Pinutex. But firstly, what's so great about plant leather? So we know that animal skin leather has its issues, both to the environment, of course, to the animals, and also the humans that are making it. There's a whole video I made about that here if you want to check that out. But then vegan leathers that are made from plastics also aren't so great for the environment. And we know that, of course. What plant leathers do is help us to replace some of that plastic in vegan leathers in a very sustainable way. So over time, this innovation can help us stop relying so much on animal skins and also limit how much plastic is in our wardrobes. So what is Pinutex? It's essentially a leather-like material that's made from pineapple leaves. It was created by Dr. Carmen Ijosa, who is a leather goods expert, and it inspired her when she was visiting the Philippines in the 90s. She did years of R&D on how to actually develop this material, and then founded Ananasanam, which is the company that manufactures and sells Pinutex. Here's why the Pinutex story is so cool and so inspirational. When pineapples are harvested, the actual fruit, their leaves are just waste. So they're not used at all and they have to be burned or gotten rid of. So they don't have any kind of economic value. With Pinutex, what happens is these same pineapple leaves are bought from farmers, which gives them an extra stream of income for something that was essentially just agricultural waste. So what they actually did is created economic value and upcycled a product. So not only is it just an eco-friendly material, but also it's socially conscious as well. Ananas and are also a B Corp. A B Corp has to meet a high set of standards to show that it will act with social and environmental responsibility, and they balance profit for purpose. So what does it actually look like? Over the years, Pinutex really developed in its texture and its feel and also colors. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This one here was the original Pinutex material that was created. So it's matte, it has these slight creases. If I were to describe the texture, it feels quite robust, fibrous, hard. It doesn't exactly feel like smooth leather. I would describe it as more of almost like a harder textile. So it's not completely smooth or flat. Since the original, they came out with four other different lines. And these are the original Pluma. So this is a lot like the original, except it's thinner and drapes, so that it's more suitable for things like fashion products. Then they came out with the Metallic Collection. This was a solution to meet the fashion industry's desire for something that had more of a glossy kind of finish. I have an example of this one here. You could see that it's very striking in its shade. I absolutely love it. It catches the light and it almost shimmers a little bit. It looks pretty futuristic. So you can see it still has some of those wrinkles. It's not completely smooth. So it doesn't totally look like regular leather. It has a unique sort of texture and look. Comparing it to the original, it's way smoother. It doesn't have that coarse feel. It is softer to touch, but that texture comes in from the creases, from the fibers and from the actual material itself. I think it's really stunning. Then they came out with the mineral collection. This was to start developing toward a more responsible material through using mineral pigments. It gives the material a sort of luster and slight shimmer as well. But it's not as bright as the metallic collection. Then there's the performance collection. This one looks pretty different from the others in that it really does mimic leather. It's very soft, it's very smooth, and it has a little bit of a grainy feel. It really does look like the kind of leather you even see in your car, in bags, very different to the other sorts of Pinutex. So how's Pinutex made? The leaves are first collected from farmers in the Philippines. The fibers in them are then extracted, and you could see they kind of look like these long threads. The remnants that are discarded from this process can actually put back into the soil as nutrients. The fibers are then washed and dried out in the sun. Then they go through a purification process and it results in this fluffy sort of material. This sort of pineapple leaf fiber is then woven together to make what they call piña felt. This piña felt is the base of all of their leathers. It's then rolled up and shipped by boat to either Spain or Italy, depending on where it's being finished. To make the original pluma and mineral collections, the piña felt is colored using pigments 
and then a resin top coating is applied and that's what gives it its strength and durability and water resistance. For the metallic collection, a foil is added and heat pressed. For the Pinatex performance, a PU coating is used. So the different materials of course vary in how much PU they contain with the performance one having the most. And the hope is that over time, less and less of it can be used. In terms of biodegradability, Pinatex is 80% biodegradable. In terms of whether it's waterproof, then only the performance one is waterproof. All of the others are only water resistant. I wanted to show you some of my example products from Pinatex. This is a bag from Alchemy Atelier. Alchemy Atelier make handbags and accessories that have very distinct designs that are inspired by earth elements and nature. This one in particular is called the Earth Moon Crossbody. You could see the kind of lunar shape inspiration. It closes with a zip and on the inside it's got one compartment. On the two sides there are some pockets. One of them closes with a zipper. The inside lining is this dark green shade and it's polyester. It's made out of recycled plastic bottles. The hardware on it is matte and silver, and their logo is engraved in silver as well at the front. It also comes with a detachable long strap, and for every bag that you buy, they plant a tree. Also from Alchemy Atelier is this card holder. It has a zipper on the top with one main compartment. On the back, it has one main pocket, also with the same dark green polyester lining that's made from the recycled plastic bottles. And then it's got four compartments for cards. The hardware on it is silver. It also comes in other colors where the hardware could also be gold. I wanted to also mention other brands that use Pinatex if you wanted to check them out. Luxra use Pinatex alongside other plant leathers. They make beautiful chic handbags and accessories. Nay Vegan Shoes also use Pinatex to create their shoes. Altier use Pinatex to create a motorbiker jacket. But I'd love to know, have you tried any Pinatex products? What was your experience with them? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to know. Also, if you're curious about anything with Pinatex or you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I hope I can answer your questions just to make sure that I've covered everything that you want to know. If you like this video, I would love it if you could hit that like button below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.